I want to ask, Minister, about something that's not necessarily your uh, ministerial bailiwick. It's literally your bailiwick, your constituency. It's the protests that happened in East Wall yesterday and on Saturday as well about up to about 380 asylum seekers being housed in an old DSB building. Would you describe some elements of that protest as racist? So I am, uh, I am really, really concerned um, about some of the language that I've heard before I describe it as being uh, racist, because that's a very strong term to use, I'm going to engage uh, directly uh, with uh, the groups and residents that have been involved in this because it's in my constituency. Uh, the people of East Wall uh, that I've had the great privilege of representing now um, uh, for my third term in the Doyle are enormously decent uh, and an amazingly strong and welcoming community. Uh, and uh, genuine concerns are being raised uh, by some many residents there uh, regarding the location of this facility. And I'm going to engage with those genuine concerns. What, what genuine concerns? Uh, well, just about the scale of the facility that is there, uh, the safety of for people who could be located in it and what the long term use will be of a building. I, I don't think the people protesting last night were worried about the safety of the people in the building. Well, people who are raising the issue with me are raising concerns regarding the use of the building. The huge challenge that we have at the moment is migration flows to Ireland. Um, and this is happening to many other countries across Europe, are changing very significantly because of the war in Ukraine, because of what's happening in Iran, what's happening in the Middle East and what's happening with Syria. And Ireland does have to play its part in looking at how we can look after people who come mm. to our country as a result of that. And um, I'll be making the case for Ireland, for my community, the communities I represent, playing our part in that response. And then issues uh, that are being raised by communities that relate to how we will engage with those facilities, I have a duty to engage in and I will. If you won't go so far as to call them racist, will you condemn some of the language? Oh, yes, I will. Some of the language that has been used, you know, I do find, um, you know, I have a very different and strong view in relation to. It's not language that I would use. Admit some of the language. The North Inner City has been destroyed with foreigners. That's what we heard earlier. I don't believe it has been destroyed with foreigners. And I believe we have a very rich and multicultural and very strong local community within the North Inner City. And I completely reject that kind of language. Um, and But uh, what I'm going to do is continue to engage with residents and groups who are raising some of these matters. But I'm really clear that some of the language that has been used and some of the approach that has been taken, I do disagree with. And it's not language that I would use and not language that I believe many would and, use. And after you consult with them, uh, might you then be more ready to acknowledge the language is racist? Well, I'm being very, I hope I'm... I know you don't want to use the word, but I think when, when something's racist, people should call it racist. Well, I'm being, I hope, being really clear in condemning and making clear I don't agree with language that has been used. Uh, but I, uh, when you use the word racist, I'm also aware that clearly that involves acknowledging that those who are using that language are also racist. And what I want to do is continue to engage in the coming days with some of the issues that are being raised before I use that kind of language myself. But I'm really clear in saying that while there are significant issues that I know are there, that I'm hearing, that are due a response, on the other hand, uh, there's language and some issues that have been raised that I do disagree with. And as somebody who's had the privilege of representing Dublin Central and the amazing community of East Wall now for a long time, um, I'm very clear in saying there's some language there that I do not agree with. Minister for Finance, Pascal Donoghue. Minister, thanks a million for joining thanks. us.